welcome to Amberfield Mouse Jewelry. My name is Tina, and if it's your first time stopping by, I want to welcome you. Uh, say hello. Hope that you're going to enjoy the content that we have here. If you're coming back, I'm glad to see you again. We have been working on our Luxury Jewelry Buffet series. This jewelry buffet has a gluttonous over 80 pounds of jewelry on it various lots that I've kind of put together. We have pearls, we have sterling, we have semi-precious gemstones, we have new on the card, we have vintage, we have brooches, cameos, the whole lot. So it's been a lot of fun and we did finish up serving one finally. It took three videos. Um, we're going to do, be doing serving two today. But before we get started, um, I want to do something fun. Um, I have these rings. Um, there are actually six of them, but um, we're going to call these two Bakelite rings one together. Um, anyway, what I'd like to do is give some of these beautiful rings away. And if you would like to participate in the giveaway, all I need you to do is subscribe to the video, like it, and leave a comment down in the comment section saying that you'd like to participate in the ring giveaway. This video should be posting on Monday, May 27th, sometime in the morning. And I am going to let people continue to comment until June 1st, which I think is five days from there. And then what I will do is I'll announce the winner on the next video, which should be June 3rd, which is a Thursday. And that video will post in the evening. When you comment, what I will do is give you a number because it's going to be a random drawing and I really don't want names assigned to it. I just want numbers. We'll announce the winner and um, you can pick one of these rings. It will be three winners. The first winner will get to pick first, second, second, third, third. And that's why I have five different selections here so that nobody gets, you know, feels like they don't get a choice out of anything. Uh, so let's just take a real quick look at them. At the top, we have a cubic zirconia and opalite. These are all sterling silver with the exception, of course, of the Bakelite rings in the center. Let's get some sizing information on these. So the cubic zirconia and opalite glass, this one is coming in about a little, about a seven and a half, I would say seven and three quarters. And very pretty ring. And the CZs on the side, the opalite glass does go around. That's a beautiful ring. Okay, and then let's take a look at the Bakelite. And you will get both of these rings. Um, we have a butterscotch and a looks like an orange color. These usually fit me, but it's evening and it's warm up here, so my fingers are doing their swelling thing. These are coming in at a five, so these are smaller. Um, but you do have the Bakelite. They have been tested. These are definitely Bakelite rings. So those are one of the selections as well. Here we have Cubic Zirconia on Sterling. It's a more modern setting very contemporary. Have the uh, look of several bands on the side. Nice thick band in the back. And let's see what size this one is. This one is coming in about between six and a half and, and six and three quarters on there. Okay. And then we have this beautiful amethyst. And I have tested all of these. So the amethyst comes in again almost at a seven. Very pretty ring. This is an old one, a vintage. That's a gorgeous amethyst. Look at the, the depth of the purple in that amethyst. Very pretty. Um, I have not taken the patina off this ring, but if you would like me to, I would certainly be more than happy to if it's your selection. Okay, and then the last ring, we have a triplet of stones here. They come over a Y band and then meeting in the center. They kind of, you know, join in the center. Very plain band, but you now we don't need much more band with the pretty stones on here. This is jadeite, onyx, and that's some sort of quartz on there. And let's see what this size is. Because okay, this is a larger one. This is almost a nine and a half. So I tried to do a vast selection of sizes as well. So we have all of these rings available. Again, if you'd like to participate, a couple of quick, easy steps. Subscribe to the channel like the video and comment that you'd like to participate. Um, you have until June, let me see June 1st. This is posting again Monday, May 27th in the morning, should be. Um, so midnight on June 1st, just put down that you'd like to participate. I'll assign you a number and then we'll do a random drawing. And then I will send these out to you. No, no purchase necessary, just a free giveaway. You know, and you may be asking yourself, is she bribing us with jewelry to get subscribers? Well, that's quite the accusation, isn't it? 
Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> but it's fun. I love to give uh, things away. If you've ever ordered from me, you'll, you'll be able to tell everybody here that, you know, when you open your box, you're going to get more jewelry than you, o than you ordered because it's fun to give things away. I love it. So let's pop these back here and uh, let me see if we can... I don't really want to keep them in here because it may mess with the camera focus. All right, so serving two of our luxury jewelry buffet. As it would happen, I had placed an order for a sterling lot because there was a bracelet in the slot that I wanted for me. And it came today, and I figured, you know, let's just do it for serving two. And that should be easy, right? And the only thing that kept me from going into it is that the box was taped shut, and I decided to, to make use of it. Man. If you need to borrow any tape, I wouldn't ask Shop Goodwill because they're probably out. I think they put it all on here. All right, let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eddie Bauer box. Hmm. Okay. Oh, give me a bag. There's a bag. Oh, huh. not tape, but a seal. Right. Oh, and that's new. It's a bag. <laughs> stir step. Oh, stir. <laughs> stir number two. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Honestly, I don't quite remember what was in here other than the bracelet that I really wanted. So let's see. Let's see what we got. I hope it's what I think it is because there was not a really good view of it. So I just kind of took a chance. Anyway, ooh, looks like we got some Laramar. Let me find it. Let me find it. Okay, this is the one. I think this is. Ooh, yes, this is the one that I wanted. Um, it is a. I'm hoping it's a semi-precious gemstone. This is all supposed to be sterling. That's very pretty. Let me just test it. Kind of mean to pull the first one out and say this is for me. All right. So yep, that's amethyst. That is probably. I would imagine a garnet. Yep. Citrine. Yep. Peridot. Looks like... Oh, I didn't let that settle back. Oh, you can't even see this. I'm sorry. There we go. Well. Okay. So, citrine. Soup slipping off. Yeah, these are all... Let me see if it fits me. That's the only other thing. If it doesn't fit, then I'm going to... Uh, offer it, but I hope it does, because I um, I have one of these in 14 karat gold, and I wanted one in sterling, because I thought it would be pretty to wear them together. Ah, I can't get it on. I need an adult. Somebody come help me. It's kind of dirty. It needs a bath, but I'm popping it on anyway. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't get it on. <laughs> Have to start getting some of those geriatric aids for things like this. Okay, woof, I did it. I didn't even hurt myself. How about that? But that is pretty, isn't it? I'm so happy it's the way it was supposed to. It kind of had a view like this, so I couldn't really tell. I had just kind of hoped. So, all right, so that one's for me. The rest of this is for you guys. Let's see what we got. All right, so we have some very pretty little earrings here. And I'm assuming these are all sterling. They're supposed to be, but we'll check and make sure. Let's see, I'm not seeing any. Uh... Oh, right there it is. Okay. These are pretty. These look like buoys, you know, in the ocean or like the old fashioned kind that were made out of glass. These are really pretty. The uh, looks like blown glass. They're really pretty. All right, so why don't we say if anybody would like these, we can make them available for seven. And if you do want to order anything, there's never any pressure to buy, by the way. Um, it's just fun looking through the jewelry, learning about stuff together. Of course, it's wonderful if you buy something. I mean, I don't want to keep all this for myself. Well, I, I do, but I, I, I shan't. Um, but if you do want to order, just send me an email. The email address is amberfieldmousejewelry at gmail.com. 
let me know the episode that you're selecting from, please, So, because there's so many of them. Uh, the item that you want, you can send me a screenshot. That makes life really, really easy because I can see the picture. And please give me the price that I quoted. Um, I don't know, you know, if it's 18, 19, 5, 4. So just send me the price that, that I quoted so I know we're both on the same page. I will send you an invoice and we'll get your item sent out to you. If you would like me to hold, you know, the jewelry for you, if you'd like to look at a couple episodes, I'd be happy to do that as well. Um, we have, you know, episodes coming out. should be twice a week now. So you might want to wait and make the most out of your shipping. Boy, there's some pretty things here. All right, let's start with this little ring. This one looks like a mother of pearl. Little tiny one. That's a pretty one. Look at that old setting. Looks like this ring has been sized. Do you see that cut there? Let's see. Yep, it says sterling, so this is an older ring. What size is this one? Ooh, is that teeny? Is that teeny tiny? It's like a three and a half, not even a three and a half. Um, this is a, for most people, a pinky ring. Isn't that sweet? And that is a really sweet old vintage ring. Look at that, the profile on it. And I will clean this up. I love the filigree work on the side. Look at that. So pretty. So, if anybody would like this one, how about we say 12? It's a cutie. I like it. All right. We got that one out of the way. Uh, looks like we have an amethyst earring here. Let's see if there's another. There are two. Yeah, let's take a check here. I'm not going to bother doing the metal. Well, that's wacky, isn't it? The metal testing here. Um, I will test each and every single piece, but for the purposes of the video, just to save time, I'm just going to assume it is sterling. I will test before, um, you know, before anybody purchases because we do want to make sure it's it's good. But let's just assume it is all sterling. These these ear wires are a little wonk. I'm just giving them a quick straighten. And again, um, I showed this in another video, but a good way to get an ear wire or a post back straightened up is to get some pliers that, oops, sorry, that do not have teeth. You don't want to use any with teeth because it'll mar the metal. And then just pop it on there and just, just kind of chomp and turn, chomp and turn, chomp and turn. And it will straighten them right out. It's amazing. It's a miracle. And see how this one is kind of curved there too? You can do it that way as well. You don't want to turn. You just want to chomp, chomp, chomp. And that straightens it right out. Isn't that awesome? Let's see how this one is. This one looked a little wonk too. Sterling is a very soft metal, so it bends really easily. Okay. Kind of addicted to jewelry repair and, and cleaning, so if I go, go on too long with on the video with this, I apologize. It's just fun for me. I like just making it making it better, you know? Okay, yep, we need a little straight in there too. Okay, so here we have some very pretty amethyst earrings. Let's just test the stones though, because as I'm, I'm pretty sure that everything is sterling, I just want to make sure that's amethyst. Oop, it's slippery. And let it go back. Back to zero out. Yeah, that's amethyst. Very pretty pair. They're wired. Um, I don't see any manufacturer's mark on here whatsoever. But if you would like this really pretty pair of amethyst earrings, how about we say uh, 12? Seems to be a good number. Alrighty, we have a little pretty, ooh, isn't that pretty? Oof, is that shining for you like it is for me? Oof, well, that's beautiful. Let's see if we can get another. I think they're all paired up because they did show in the picture everything paired. Let me see if we can find that one. Oh, here's a pink one. That's pretty. A blue one. And another pink one. All right, so let's look at these. These are probably CZs, I would imagine. Usually you always get CZs with these, but... Yeah, these are CZ. So how about for this pretty pair? There are no backs with them. Um, I'll, I'll put backs on them. I don't think I have sterling backs to put on them, but they're very pretty. Um, you see the color on those? 
They're, they're very um, pretty, delicate pink. Hmm. It's nighttime, and let me see. I'm going to pause for one moment, kind of adjust the lighting here, and see if we can get some better color set up. Be right back. All right, well, maybe that's a little bit better. I'm not sure. Um, I'm on the, oh, <laughs> I'm, this is what I've resorted to for to see things. These are... Um, they're jeweler's glasses. They're actually very cool. They have different um, powers of magnification that you can ex you can change in and out of here. They are fantastic for me because, you know, my vision is gone. But I grabbed one of the uh, higher magnifications to see if it will aid us a little bit. This is the 35 times magnification. And, yeah, that is helping. You can see the color of that pink down. Very pretty. Don't look at my fingernails. They're just, I'm so tired of doing my nails because I don't do a good job. Maybe because I don't like doing it, that's why. But anyway, why am I talking about my fingernails? Here we go, pretty pink. And then we have this beautiful blue. The blue have, has some really, it is not coming through, but this blue has some green in it when you twist it. And everything has fuzzies on it. Okay. But two really pretty little pairs of earrings, uh, CZs. And you can have either pair for $5 each, or you can have two for 10 See, I can math. <laughs> Um, you should see my phone. I just took a break and put tape around the perimeter, hoping that it will act like an impromptu windscreen because I don't know why, but when I record these videos, I sound like Darth Vader. You can hear me breathe and I cringe. It's not like in everyday life people just, you know, walk up to me and say, ma'am, your breathing is just so loud. Could you, could you just stop with the breathing, please? So my, my phone must be sensitive. I'm not sure, but... Um, I am going to be getting an external, um, what you call it, microphone. Hopefully that will help with that. Anyway, let's look at these pearls. These are beautiful. And these are beautiful. These are um, real pearls. They're Baroque style. Gorgeous knacker on them. Let's look at the, the sizing. Let's see how they, their selection. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Beautiful crystals on here. Let's, let's, let's use our little aid here and see if it helps pull that color up a little bit for us too because it sure did yeah now you're seeing better that's interesting how that works those need to be cleaned down really pretty these pearls are gorgeous and let's see i believe this one is on sterling it should be as i said these everything is supposed to be sterling in this lot yep then we have our little 925 i don't see any indication as to who made this but let's take a look at the necklace and see what it looks like. It looks gorgeous, as it does. I need to pan out a little bit, excuse me. You can see my whole mess here. Okay, that is really pretty. And I think this one had earrings that went with it. At least it looked like it in the picture. It looked like they were dang, yeah, here we go. See, it's not really fun when you know what's in here. It's funny, the only thing I didn't really know what was in here was the bracelet that I wanted, and that worked out well, unfortunately. And these have, all have fuzz on them. Why do they have fuzz? That's so strange. I must have had them in cotton or something. Beautiful little earrings that match. Have the same crystal, the same little silver hoops on it. Really pretty little. So that's a lovely pair. Yep, I'm sorry, bunked you. If I can get them in here so we can... Look at everything together. It always looks like googly eyes to me whenever anybody puts them on there like that, including myself. You're not going to be able to unsee that, are you? <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we have here. That's really pretty. Um, these are real real Baroque pearls on sterling with um, AB crystals on here. These, this, these are crystal stations here. Really pretty. How about we say if you want... Um, the set, let's say 27 for the necklace and earrings. I'd like to sell them together. And I'm giving you some really good prices tonight because um, I just like to get this jewelry out the door. All right, up next, let's look at another pair of earrings because I've been eyeballing these. These are pretty. I don't remember these from the um, from the shop good well lot. Some things you get to see really well. Yeah, and these are Vermeer. These have, uh, and so were these, by the way. Where'd they go? Oh, the, oh, maybe these are the ones I was looking at. I'm hallucinating. They're not Vermeer. They're silver. 
never mind. Okay, so let's put these on here. These are so pretty. Look at this glass. So the little uh, stripes disappear completely, and then you can see them all from the side. Isn't that cool? I think that is such a neat effect. These, I think these are glass, art glass. Well, now it's not working quite so well, is it? Getting that reflection from my ring light, which is not pleasant. Look at that. Let me just see. It's warm up here. I had to turn off my uh, air conditioning unit so that we didn't have that noise in the background. In it. Yeah, these are glass. Let me see if this piece is glass. Yeah. These are adorable. I love these. Absolutely love these. You can see my mess here, boy. It's like companies come and shove everything into the drawers. <laughs> oh, those are pretty. These are really pretty. I love these. What a cool effect that is, huh? Nice little bit of design work on that bead. Bead alone is fantastic. Well, I've been saying 12 for all the cool earrings, so I think we should just stay with 12. Those are so pretty. Look at those gorgeous earrings. I love them. Love them, love them. Oh, and I'm banging you again. Sorry about that. Okay, well, let's go with, let's stay with earrings. Get the other one out. And more fuzz. Now, these had to have been packed in cotton before they put them in the bags. I can't say they're not really, nothing's dirty, which is cool. This ass is tipped over. Let me put that back up right. I got it out to test and realized, you know what, let's just, let's just cut to the chase and say everything's sterling. If it, I wish I had a smile here. Don't those look like blue eyes? Big blue eyes, big blue eyes. Let's see what this stone is, if it's uh, glass or anything of the gemstone range. Uh, that's glass. Really pretty little look, though. What a fun uh, light summer look that is. Those are cute. Those are really cute. Um, how about we say 10 on these? They're really pretty. Okay. And let's look at some bracelets now, shall we? All right, here's, this looks like we have, uh, mm -mm -mm. obviously it's an abalone pattern. I don't, I think this is, um, I don't think this is real abalone. It's, it looks like it. It's very pretty. It is on sterling. It may be. It may be. And let me see who that is for a manufacturer. Let's get my little glasses aid here. Um, let me see. It looks like it says paid. I don't think it says paid, but that's what it's looking like to me. Let me get my, my readers. Sometimes I have to stack the visual aids. I get my reading glasses, and then I use this along with sometimes my loop. I'll put those glasses on, and then it's crazy. Don't get old, folks. Honestly. Not for the weak of heart. There's a gnat. Go away, gnat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really seeing a mark that I'm familiar with, or even the letters are, are non-distinguishable to me. So if you've got a better inkling of what that says than I, again, my sister Kathy's going, would you stop with this, please? But I know there are people out there who want to, you know, see the marks and whatnot. Anyway, so if you look at the back of this, either the whole piece is sandwiched in resin, and it's rather light. It is sterling. You know what? This one, let's check and make sure it's sterling. It looks like sterling. Oh, gnats. Go, gnat. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you're going to have to, you're going to have to edit that out. Sorry, folks. We had to do a little edit because I was attacked by a gnat. I survived. I'm sure you were all worried. All right. Yeah, that's coming out blue. You see that? It's 
through all the bonking of the of the uh, camera that I'm doing. All right, so it is definitely sterling. It's not. I don't believe it's abalone. I think it's um, you know, sandwiched and epoxy in there. But it's it's still very pretty. Beautiful bracelet, and I didn't give you a size on that necklace. How silly of me. And let's just measure the length on this one. You do have two choices there as to where to attach it. Got a toggle clasp. And this is an eight inch necklace, excuse me, bracelet. Why don't we say for this one, let's say 15. It's beautiful regardless of the fact if it's a abalone or acrylic or, you know, made out of, made out of whatever. It's pretty. All right, and let me get you, oh my goodness, enough of the bonking of the camera, Tina. Enough, enough. Let me see how long this pearl necklace is. Take off my reading glasses and might be able to see a little bit better. I can't see with the reading glasses on except for close up. So that's a 16 inch strand of pearls with that. I want to make sure I give you the measurement on it. Okay, this is going to be a short episode because we're just going to go through this and then, uh, you know, we'll come back with serving three. Wow. Can you believe that? I'm getting it through a whole serving in one episode. All right, so these are, what they call these bijou pearls. You don't know because I'm not showing you. I've got them over here by myself. I'm just taking a peek to make sure the clasp and everything is straight. And these are pretty. This is very pretty. So they're very snowy white. They are real pearls. Oh, and look at the little tiny, tiny, tiny pearls in between. That is so pretty. I like the way the shows, it kind of also amplifies the light, I think, a little bit, so you can see better. That's really pretty. Beautiful strand of pearls. It is on a sterling clasp. And this one has earrings to match, too. Um, this one looks like it's going to be a 16-incher, but we'll, we'll be certain to measure it. And look at the little pearls on there. Aren't they the cutest little things? Oh, my goodness. Look at those little baby pearls. They're so cute. Okay, so let's put the googly eyes on this one. Let's remove the fuzz. I will have to check with them and see if I paid extra for the fuzz on everything. Isn't that silly? Silliness. Okay. Wow, well, that sounds like a horrible scratch, didn't it? Do we have lopsided? Ah, I'm losing my smile. Ah. Do we have lopsided? <laughs> okay. So this is a necklace. Boy, let me get them all turned out so you can get a proper view of them. They don't look so wonky. Really pretty pearls. And I'm going to say for this set, 22. Really pretty. Okay. And let me just give this a quick measure as well. I believe it's 16 inches, but I don't know. It does have an extender. Sometimes people need a few extra inches, so... That's always, that's always good. Um, yeah, so this looks like it's maybe just, a, there's that now, a smidge longer than, looks like an 18 inch strand. And then you have probably, I don't know, two inch extender. So this is a bit longer. Very pretty set. That's a fun summertime thing too, isn't it? Just in time for summer. All right, we have some rings in here. Let's see what these are about. Some tiny tinies. All right, so, oh, that's pretty. And that looks like it's probably amethyst garnet. Let's see. Oop. Well, it slides, when I slide up and hit the metal, it goes way up there. Let's see. Yeah, that's... Mm, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine because it's right in between garnet and amethyst. It, it is a little bit redder, so I would venture that this is a, a garnet. Um, tiny little ring. Really pretty. It's probably like a five. Um, yeah, I think this is a size five. Really pretty. Little leaves on the side. It's, it's you know, not a not a big... Uh, statement ring. It's very comfortable. You put it on, you don't even know it's on there, to be honest with you. It'd be a very pretty pinky ring as well. And let's get it back off. Now they've shoved it on my finger that's nighttime size. 
And let me actually check the size on it because... Okay, so it's like a about about a four and a half. Very pretty little ring. Um, definitely would be very pretty as a pinky ring. I got it stuck on the mandrel now. Very pretty pinky ring too. So how about for this one? Since it does have that pretty garnet in there, uh, let's say twelve for this one. Okay. Next little ring that we have. Well, that's fun. Look at the pattern on that. Looks like we have some onyx there. Let's take a check and see where that's going to go. Um, oops, slid off. This could be glass or it could be onyx. They kind of test around the same place, but it's so tiny. And it does look poured in there, so I would say that this is, I think this is, is glass. But a very pretty little ring. Uh, let's see. I can get a, I'm not going to shove it on my finger. Let's see what size this one is. It's tiny as well. This one is almost a five. Love that design. Very nice design. Little slim band. All right, for this one, how about we say 10? Sweet, sweet little pinky ring. All right, and then we have, oh, this is pretty. This is a larger ring. With that sweet little heart in there, Oh. That's so cute. It's a cute little heart. I haven't even looked to see if there's any sort of maker's marks on these. Uh, it's Mark Sterling. Let's take a peek at the size on this one. This one is much larger. This one's coming up at an eight and a half. So definitely gonna be more people who will be able to wear this one. Okay, and let's see what the stone is. Probably glass. Yeah, from that color, I assumed it was glass. It's a little bit too blue to be topaz or aquamarine. It's very pretty. And how about on this one, we say 10 as well. Okay, one more ring. Ooh, 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 look at that. Look at the color on that, wow. Where's my, here it is. That, wow, I'm getting flashes of pink. Are you seeing the pink in there? I gotta look this up. I think I know what this stone is. I think it's what is it called? It's a kind of a citrine. Let's well, let's see if it's citrine before it's probably just glass. No, it it's it's citrine. Oh, I'm gonna have to look this one up, folks. That's a really pretty stone. Do you see that? Do you see like the um burgundy and the pink and the fuchsia flashing in there with that the main stone itself I don't know if you can really tell yeah you can tell in the camera it's um it's it's more of a red yellow you know like an orange almost cognac wow that's pretty and then we have jerseys on the side I'm sure these I think these are jerseys let's see if they go up to quartz yeah those are jerseys on the side the jerseys are um have a smattering of gold and pink in them. I don't know if that's coming through, but it and accents it very well with the ring. Uh, let's look at the design. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that profile. That's gorgeous. This is a nice ring. Well, I was hoping to price everything <laughs> tonight's video like really low, but I think this one might deserve just a slighter heftier price tag if it's if it is what I think it is I can't remember the name of it but um you'll have to forgive me while I pause in a little bit and go look it up that's so pretty wow look at all that it's like a wine name or something what is that not burgundy anyway we'll put that to the side and price that later um it looks like we have a few more earrings let's do some earrings we have some more CZ, it looks like. All right, so you have a mate, you have a mate, you have a mate, you have a mate, you have a mate. Sound like Oprah. Oh, another little ring. Okay, necklace, and then a couple of bracelets. Wow, we're getting through this really quickly. All right. Oh, that's pretty. The flash on here is is much more substantial than it is recording. Um, these are probably CZs. Quite certain nothing going to be diamond on that. Let's let it go back down. 
Yeah, that's actually going past glasses, maybe tourmaline. Let me see the other stone. Yeah. So we have, but it looks like we have a semi precious gemstone in here. And, oh, guess who this is made by? If you didn't see then, maybe you'll see now. Avon. Really pretty. Let's see if the, if the backs are sterling as well. They seem to be. These are really beautiful. Very pretty set. Nice, nice size on these too. Um, well, I can see my fingernail, you know. They're not little tiny. Let's, I'm just going to hold them up like this. You can get the, the idea of what they look like. They're very pretty. And if anybody would like this set, how about we say, oh, gee, I don't know, 12. <laughs> All right. I have one more ring that I missed. Looks like another little onyx or glass number. There's, It's not open in the back, but that's not a, doesn't have to be for onyx. You know, it's not like light is required to go through. All right, so this one is up going up past glass, so I think this is a, t a teeny tiny minuscule piece of onyx in there. Little leaf pattern on the side. We have some milligrain going on here. This looks like an older one. Let me see if this says Sterling or 925, because it, it may just be. This is 925. I don't see any sort of um, maker stamp or anything on here. This is another little one, it looks like. Some pinky rings coming out tonight. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is a four. So make a pretty pinky ring. Sterling and Onyx, lovely little pinky ring. How about we say 10 for this one? Alrighty. Um, it looks like we have some more CZs. Let's see here. Looks like they have an illusion setting on them. Why would they have an, an illusion setting on a CZ? I don't know. <gasps> Did that slip or is that a diamond? Huh. I'm sorry, I just screamed into the phone. I hope everyone's ears are okay. That's a diamond. Or moissanite. Right? Let's look. You see the illusion on there? Around it? But those are not, you know, shop could well find size diamonds like on that bracelet I found on a previous video. Um, that's probably about... I don't know. A little bit more than a quarter carat. I will have to bring these to my jeweler to have a look at them because I'm, that doesn't look like there's a sterling back, though. Why would they do that to me? What does it say on the back here? Let me uh, just take a peek and see if this says sterling on it or what, it's, what it has to say for itself. Oh, Lord, I can't see anything. I'm getting the light here. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, where'd I put my reading glasses? I know I just had them on my head. Yeah, they, I'll grab another pair. I have like five pair in the drawer over here because I'm a, I'm a menace to society. I lose things constantly. All right. Yeah, this is uh, Mark 925, Sterling 925. So this may actually also be moissanite. So I'm going to take these to the jeweler. Boy, I have a pile to bring. I got to get myself up there because you guys are going to start mutinying soon. All right, so we'll bring those back. Now this back is sterling. It says 925 CP. CP or GP? CP. Hmm. Well, that wasn't nice. They sw did a switcheroonie on the back. Oh, well. They're donated products, so who knows? So I'm, I'm going to have to bring these back. Um, I just want to get a little information on them and make sure they are diamond and not, you know, diamondique or something like that. Pretty. Okay, so those are going in the pile to come back with. What do we have here? Oh, those are cute. Those look like some kind of quartz on there. Did I just like throw those up into your face and you guys were like, wah! Pretty little studs. Oh, these say something on the back of them. What did these say? I 
think these are Taxco, maybe? Let me see. Hmm. Oh. You. Let me check. I mean, they're they're just, you know, little button granite studs, but I want to further our education when it comes to uh, jewelry identification. So I want to look this up. Hmm. All right, I'm going to put these over to the side real quick. And then what else do we have? Oh, we have fuzz. No extra charge on the fuzz. If anybody would like to order some fuzz, I have plenty of fuzz. You're welcome to as much fuzz as you'd like. And there's also a gnat around here. He tried to kill me earlier. I had to pause the video. <laughs> right, this is kind of wonky. Hold on a second. Let's get this straight. They're cute little dolphins. Look at these. Aw. Aren't they sweet? Another summertime, perfect timing kind of find. All right, we do say 925 on the clasp. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There. Well, why, not that I have it all straight. Let me get the uh, measurement on the length. There we go. So that we're looking at about, about seven and a half inches. cute little dolphins. And they're cute. I'm so sorry. I keep bonking the camera. And again, if you want this one and you would like me to polish it up, I would be more than happy to do that. I like to wear my, uh, my silver polished up myself, but some people like the, some people like my light just kind of like decide to dim itself. I don't know what happened there. Anyway. So if you would like me to polish up the dolphins for you, I'd be happy to do that. And if you would like this pretty little dolphin bracelet, how about we say 17 for that? It's really cute. Okay. Now we have... Oh, you know what, folks? <laughs> I, I was uh, saying what kind of uh, gemstone something was the other day, and I was r r wrong. <laughs> I was calling it Larimar. It wasn't Larimar. It was Amazon. Amazon. I can't speak. Amazonite. Um, still pretty, but it was not Larimar. This, however, is Larimar. Definitely Larimar. I went and got a piece of my Larimar from downstairs um, and kind of did a side-by-side -side on there. I had somebody want to order it, too, and I felt kind of like a heel. But um, I would rather let them know, you know, I'm not going to sell you something that's bad information. This is a beautiful Larimar bracelet, though. Very pretty. Let's get a length on that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so this one's probably going to be about, uh, yeah, we're at about seven and a half on this one as well. There does not appear to be an extender on this one, um, but very pretty. I don't know how much Lara Marco was for. I'll have to look it up. But I'll, I'll look it up in just a second and come back with some pricing. Um, beautiful Larimar, though. Look at the pretty colors in there. Very cloudy. Um, not cloudy like, you know, you can't see through it. I mean, cloudy like, you know, ethereal. Like a puffy, puffy blue cloud. Like ocean foam. Very pretty. And any manufacturer on here? Nope. Nada. Not a not a, but we do have the 925 on there. So let me put that over here with the ring that I have to look up. Is there anything else over here? That gnat is making me crazy. Hey, gnat. Go unload the dishwasher. Clean up your room. I'll probably never hear from him again. If he's anything like a teenager, you give him a task and they, they run. He'll be up in his room playing video games for the next, you know, forever. All right, I don't think there was anything else other than this ring that I want to look up. Is that right? Wow, that's cool. All right, so, oh, and I'm bringing the diamonds to the jeweler. 
Okay, so now we have a, this pretty. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow, look at that. It's yellow. And then when you do this, it's purple. And that beautiful, beautiful electric blue in there. Look at that. Well, that is a beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Let me see if this is glass. Yeah, that's glass. I was just checking to make sure it wasn't resin because I've been doing a lot of resin work lately. And, uh, oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. And while I look at from the side, there's nothing in there. That's all an illusion done. What an amazing piece of craftsmanship that is. That took some skill to get that effect. Look, nothing. Just the little bits on the bottom. And then the, uh, wow, that is beautiful. That is really a beautiful necklace. And the chain is beautiful, too. We have a serpentine chain. It is, uh, oh, it gets better. It gets better, folks. Look at this. I love these chains. I love these. It's adjustable. I mean, the chain itself is just the bee's knees. <laughs> That's so awesome. You can use this chain for lots of different things. Oh, my goodness. Let's fully extend it and see how big it is. Oh, this is so pretty. That chain is gorgeous. Let me see where my thing go. Here it is. All right. So fully extended, we have, it's like 22 inches for the chain. That is a very versatile sterling silver chain. Wow. And this pendant is amazing. This is probably the prettiest piece of dichroic glass I've ever seen. The illusion when you say, that is just so cool. Look at that. Look at the skill set on this person who made this glass. And the yellow there. Isn't that neat? And absolutely no hint of yellow. When you, well, no, that's not true. I just saw some, didn't you? Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me see. Hmm. It looks different every way you slice it. Look at that. So when you have it right on the white, all that, you know, the color illusion, it kind of gets faded away. But when it's just out where the light is able to ref ref uh, refract through it properly, I almost hurt myself saying that word. Wow, that's so pretty. This chain is amazing. It is a vintage chain. It's probably going to say Italy on it. Let me see. Yeah, it says Italy. 925 Italy. Gorgeous chain. These, these sterling silver chains are much pricier than just your average run-of-the-mill for obvious reasons. I mean, look at the functionality in that. It lets you, you know use this chain for so many different pieces. Um, I have absolutely no problem asking $40 for this, even though I was trying to make everything on the cheap tonight. Um, that's a, that's a $40 necklace all day long. And that's a, that's with a nice discount on there, my friends. Wow. Oh, I hope whoever gets this enjoys it. It's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that blue with the black around it. That black just makes that blue pop pop it out lines it and we've got the iridescence in the back is can you guys see that nap he's been like kamikaze bombing my face i'm about to go crazy on him you're ruining my you're ruining my video mr nat you were supposed to go do the dishes or something that's so pretty wow and again if you do want to order anything um just email me amberfieldmousejewelry at gmail.com and I'm going to do this one first because that bracelet's another gorgeous thing. All right, what do we have here? Oh, we have a little enamel set that's stuck. Stuck. That's a pretty little pinwheel. We have purple, we have yellow, we have blue. Um, I don't see any manufacturer. I do see these need to be cleaned. Yugi. So I will definitely take care of that. And then... We have a pendant that matches. That's pretty. We have a sterling chain. It's just a little tiny Rolo. Mark 925. Not Italy, just 925. It's pretty. This is a lovely little set. Very lovely little set. Look at that. 
If anybody would like this set, you can have the set for 20. Okay. See, that's a great price. I'm going to give you good prices on those too, but wow. I was just thinking this was all going to be just, you know, nice. Really, the, oh, look at that. What are you? Who are you? Oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is some old glass, folks. This is some old glass. Wow. Look at that wedding cake design on there. The flowers. Beautiful red hearts. Really pretty little. I'm just, I, I know these are crystal beads. Those are no way those are plastic. Yeah, those are crystal. Those are gorgeous. I gotta look this one up, my friends. I'm sorry. Let me see if there's anything on here that says nothing other than 925. Look at this beautiful little bracelet. How sweet. Oh, I love, love, love. Well, look at this. Look at how we have some down, some up. Oh, how fun. That is so pretty. This is really pretty. Let me put it on the... Let's get a measurement first. Let me measure it. And this one is about a seven and a half. Let me just put it on the neck real quick. I know that we don't wear it on the neck, but I'll just let these beads fall so that we can get a really, really nice look at these beautiful things. Look at those. Look at those beads. They're so precious. Wow. That is just a precious neck. I love it. I love it, I love it. I'm sitting here thinking, well, I said I wasn't gonna buy it and have anything else. And I'm not. But what I do need to do is look up these beads because these look very old to me. And I think these are probably Murano. So I just need to do a check on them. So let me do this. That's is that all the jewelry? Yes, that is all the jewelry. And let's do the bit of it. Let me see. Look how pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. I just love it. I love artisan work. Oh, look at the back. A little blue daisy. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so I'm going to look up this piece. I'm going to look up this ring. I want to find out what kind of stone that is. There's a name for, for um, citrine of that color. Um, if I could think of it, it'd be a happy thing. And then I wanna just check the, the price on the Larimar.